Hello there friends and welcome to another After Effects tutorial. This is what we are going to be doing today, using trap code form and a 3D OBJ object. So the first thing we are going to be doing is creating a new composition. I'm going to call it main. Next thing, I'm going to create a new solid. I'm going to call it form, where I will apply the trap code form effect. Now I will import the obj file, which is like a standardized like 3D object format. I drag it into the main composition. I will turn off its visibility. I will select the solid layer and I will apply to it effect trap code form. Now inside the trap code form attribute, I will open the base form attribute where I can change the size, rotate, many things. So I will basically do base form to obj and obj settings, I will select the layer where I have the obj. So far this is what I see. It's very important to understand one thing, the more vertex the object has, the more points it will have. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the scale, 650, 650, 650, this is what I have so far. I can rotate it. So now we'll open the particle attribute, I will change the color for the particles and I will modify some of the attributes as opacity, size, randomness, until I get something that I like. Now I will apply a very simple expression to have the sphere rotating. So I will open the effects attribute on the timeline. I will go down to Y rotation. I will Alt click on the stopwatch and I will type time times 25 times multiplied 25. So this way the object automatically will rotate on the Y axis. Now, next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be duplicating the form layer. Okay, I will apply to it blur effect, fast blur, just to make it look nicer. I will duplicate that layer a couple of more times. I will change the amount of blurriness in these new layers and also I will change the opacity. The next thing it will be to change the color of the particles in these new layers. You can tweak many different attributes in each layer. So this way you create some variation between them. I'm just doing something very simple, it's changing the color, but you can change the size of the particle, the amount, the opacity. So far this is what we have. You can bring any 3D object on the OBJ format to After Effects using trap code form. The important thing once again is that you have a decent amount of vertex on the 3D object, otherwise you will not see many of the particles in the object. You can create OBJ objects in many 3D applications as like Maya, ZBrush, 3D Max, Cinema 4D and bring them into After Effects following this process. I hope it was useful and see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.